Today we're going to look at security filters in Google App Sheet. So what are security filters? They're basically expressions that you can add to your tables to lock down the data and control who can see what. Uh oh. Anyway, I've created a sample app for tracking service requests and we can use that app to look at how security filters work. I've got two tables in this app. The first is requests, which has got information about each request, including who it's assigned to right here with their email address. And the second is the users, which are all the users within our app, including their email address and their name and the type of user they are, either a technician or a manager. We want managers to be able to see everything and technicians to only be able to see the service requests that are assigned to them. And we can use security filters to do that. So I've linked those two tables within our app here and I can add my security filters by going down here under the security menu, clicking security filters, and then selecting the table that I want to add a security filter to. So in this case, it's going to be requests. And then I can click down here in this expression editor in order to be able to edit that expression. Now I'm going to use our app sheet advisor AI assistant to create the expression here, but I'll copy and paste the final expression down into the description so that you can use it for your own project. You basically just need to modify things to have the correct values for your table. So what I want to do for this is I want to create an expression for a security filter that shows all the requests to managers and only the current technicians request to technicians. So I'm going to ask for it to create that expression. Comes back with this expression and I'm going to copy and paste that over here for my security filter. So basically what this is doing is it's checking that either one of these two conditions are true and that's what the or means. So it's checking that either one of these things is true. The first is first expression is looking up the in the users table by their email address uh, rows where the type equals manager and the email address equals the email address of the current user. So this your user email returns the, the email address of the current user who's currently logged into AppSheet. So that's what that's doing. Basically that is, uh, is just checking to see if the current person is a manager. And the second thing, the second reason that we might show this record is if the assigned to column equals the user email. So that's the case of our technician. If a te technician is assigned to a particular uh, request, then the assigned to would equal their email address and it would show it there. So again, this combined expression is checking to see either if the person is a manager or the assigned to is the current technician and it will show the record in that case. So we can just save this. Our security filter is in place now and I can go ahead and test this. So you can use this preview as uh, down here in order to simulate different email, different users being logged into the app. So right now it's set to Sandy at pliablematter.com, which is the manager here. So Sandy, because they are the manager, is able to see all of the records. And we only have these two records in here right now. Uh, and Sandy is able to see both of them. And then if I look back at my data again, one of the records is the Simpson record is assigned to Doug at pliablematter.com and the uh, Carson record or request is assigned to Lars at pliablematter.com. So if I go down here and change this to Doug at pliablematter.com and apply, you see that Doug is now only able to see the Simpson record. And if I change it to Lars, Lars is able to see the Lars record. And again, Sandy, because Sandy is the manager, is able to see both of them. So that's how security filters work. As you can see, they're pretty straightforward. I'll put the expressions that we use down in the description so that you can copy and paste and modify them for your own use. And I'll also include a link that you can use to try out our AppSheet Advisor AI Assistant for free. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching and happy building.